Settings is the last section of the analytics module from where you can configure functionality such as app settings, personal tools, and integrations. Segments let you group visitors with similar characteristics. For example, you can create a segment for desktop users. All you need to do is to name your segment, choose its visibility, and then drag and drop the right dimensions and apply the conditions. Once it's done, you'll see a preview of visitors in a segment within the 30 days. Here you can see the list of all segments created for a specific website, along with its visibility, date created and the author. Keep in mind that segments with limited visibility won't show up to other users. You can access advanced options such as editing, copying or deleting a segment by clicking on three dots here. When your segment is ready, you can apply it to either a dashboard or a report to check the statistics for this particular segment. Or you can apply two segments and compare users' behavior between them. Dimension value grouping allows you to customize the values for dimensions. In Peewick Pro, values inside dimensions are organized into default groups but you can reorganize them in the way you want. For example, the default grouping for the country dimensions includes all countries, but you can organize the values so you end up with results like this. United States plus United Kingdom, Australia plus New Zealand and other countries. All you need to do is to name your dimension value grouping, choose its visibility, and drag and drop the right dimensions. Last, you can choose how to group the remaining values. You can create up to 10 different groups in one grouping. Here you can see a list of all custom groups along with the dimension, date updated, author, and visibility. Keep in mind that groups with limited visibility won't show up to other users. You can access advanced options such as editing, copying, or deleting a dimension value grouping by clicking on three dots in here. Once your custom dimension group is ready, you can use it while creating a custom report or a dashboard. Apply the dimension in your report, click on it, and pick the custom grouping. The report will show data only for the custom groups that you chose. In Puik Pro, traffic channels are organized into default groups. For most users, this set is enough for data analysis. But if you're looking for a more tailored arrangement, you can use custom channel grouping. Let's say we would like to group our marketing channels into three different groups. So let's create an example now. All you need to do is to name your custom channel grouping, choose its visibility, and set the channel conditions. Our first group will be named as page search. And now we'll drag and drop some dimensions and set the conditions. Let's name a next one as social and proceed with needed dimensions as previously. The last one we'll name as other advertisers. Channels that don't meet set conditions will be grouped under one group, others. Your new grouping will appear on a list. You will be able to use it in custom reports and on dashboards. A custom dimension is an additional dimension that you can create to collect and analyze data beyond the default scope. For example, if you want to know which blog author is most popular, you will need to use a custom dimension that will pull out information about the author and combine it with other data such as page views or bounce rate. 
You can use custom dimensions to capture information such as user's email, visitor's age, blog category, and more. Here you can see a list of custom dimensions split into two scopes, session and event. The session scope relates to the whole visit and holds captured custom dimension for the whole session. The event scope relates to events like page view or downloading a file and holds the captured dimension for each event. Each new custom dimension is set to be active. However, you can make it inactive in any time. In settings, you can define custom dimension in analytics, but the whole setup is done in Tag Manager. You can find a step-by-step -step guide on how to create a custom dimension in our help center. A calculated metric is an additional metric that you can create to analyze your website's traffic and visitor's behavior. You can, for example, add your own metric to track sessions per visitor, visitor conversion rate, and many more. You can apply your own calculated metrics in custom reports and dashboards. Here, you can see a list of metrics along with the formatting, date updated, author, and visibility. You can find a step-by-step -step guide on how to create a calculated metric in our help center. If for some reason the default attribution models are not enough for your analysis, you can create your own custom attribution model. To create a custom attribution model, click on Add New Custom Model, next name it and choose a baseline model. For example, position-based. Choose its visibility. If you want to use this model on all websites, mark all websites. Now it's time to set up your model. For example, in a position-based model, you can use a percentage to distribute credit between interactions. In link credit to user engagement, select session time or page views in session. In use additional credit rules, set additional conditions. Your new model will appear on the list. You'll be able to use it in the attribution report and custom attribution report. Scheduled report section lets you automatically send a report to a particular email address every day, week, or month. Click on Add new scheduled report to choose the right conditions, email address, a report or dashboard, time frame, and set up additional conditions such as segment, format, orientation, and row limit. Here you can see a list of all scheduled reports along with the status, frequency, date updated, and expiration date. You can access additional settings by clicking on the three dots. Alerts allow you to automatically send an email notification if a metric drops, rises, or reaches a certain level. To create an alert, click on Add New Alert, name it, and choose the right conditions. Here you can see a list of all alerts, along with its status, frequency, date updated, and expiration date. You can click on the three dots to access more options. The Tracker Debugger lets you check if your tracking works correctly. It shows real-time events that are happening on your website. Therefore, after making some changes to the tracking, you can quickly see if the tracker is correctly collecting data. The integration section allows you to integrate Pwik Pro with Google Search Console and Google Ads. Once you finish the integration, you'll be able to see the data for both in the reports section. Keep in mind that data in these reports are not generated by Pwik Pro. It's transferred to our platform from Google. You can find a step-by-step -step guide on how to integrate Pwik Pro with Google Search Console or Google Ads in our Help Center. Thanks for watching. You can find more information on our Help Center.